former finance minister said Tekwe has warned the government about potential fiscal slippages in the 2024 budget. He suggests that establishing the stabilization fund could have acted as a buffer against recent increases in commodity prices, generating additional revenue for the government. If you borrow, you must learn to pay. There's no room, whether for households, for businesses, or for government, that you can keep on borrowing and borrowing and not run into trouble. Right? Which is why, you know, we, in our collective wisdom, and I'm saying that it's not just one government or the parliament, right, decided that we should allocate some money to pay down debt. We should allocate some money, stabilization fund, so that when cocoa, when cocoa prices are high, gold prices are high, at the moment gold prices are high, right, we should put some aside. It's like when you have a bonus, you don't chop off, you put some, you know, aside, because your, your son will fall sick, your daughter will fall sick. I mean, they are innocent, you know, they are vulnerable. So you have something, so that you don't go and borrow. And then your next door neighbor will be wondering, ah, this man there, he didn't come for money. I said we're doing 4.9, 5.8, and we're doing well. Then came 2019, and the gap was identified, which was saved by COVID. And we, we turned out by 2021, 2022, the Bank of Ghana was financing the deficit. We were not doing well, you know, so well after all. And I'm saying that that slippage should, could come again if we do not generate more revenue or cut expenditure to be able to narrow the fiscal balance. That is the more important one, not the primary balance.